CNN News host Don Lemon may be from Louisiana, but these days he shares a stunning retreat in the Hamptons with his fiancée and partner Tim Malone. A few years ago, he selected a white neoclassical clapboard mini mansion in the area of Saj Harbor to settle down in, and soon after moving in, carried out a renovation on the home so it would suit his tastes. Before finding his 2,750 square foot dream property and calling it home, Don previously lived in a spacious condo located in uptown New York City. He sold this place in 2021 for $1.5 million with the help of his fiance Tim, who was one of the realtors as well. On choosing his current home, Don claims that the area in fact chose him. He said, I think Saj Harbor chose me. When I saw it, I knew I wanted to live there. It was like I was always supposed to be there. And the rest was history. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2021, Don Lemon sold his former condo in the New York City neighborhood of Harlem for $1.525 million, which made him a profit of about 37 k when compared to the price he purchased it for in 2013. The condo was originally placed on the market a year prior with an ask of $1.75 million, but it took a bit of time to sell. However, Don had already moved into his home in the Hamptons area of Sag Harbor, which he bought back in 2016. For Lemon's condo, Douglas Elements, Steve Cohen, and Tim Malone, who's Don's fiance, held the listing. Don and Tim got engaged in 2019, and the journalist shared how it all went down in a sweet Instagram post. The caption of Don's post read, he gave me a present on his birthday. How could I say no? This was accompanied by two photos of dog collars on their pets, Boomer and Barkley, that read, Daddy, will you marry Papa? I can't think of a better way to propose. Anyways, the couple had been dating since 2016 and memorably rang in the 2018 New Year with an on-air kiss on CNN. While Don's former condo was set up as a two-bedroom at the time of sale, the 1,400 square square foot abode was listed as a three bedroom home along with 2.5 bathrooms. So one has the option to reconfigure the layout if wanted. The condo featured an open and spacious floor plan with plenty of clean white walls, light hardwood flooring, as well as floor to ceiling windows in the main living room with views of the Manhattan skyline. An entry foyer in Don's former home leads to the living areas, which aside from the windowed main living room, which boasts built-ins, there's there's also the attached kitchen with a built-in casual dining area. The galley style kitchen also features stone countertops and stainless steel appliances. So while it's a petite space, it packs in top-notch upgrades. On the other side of the condo sits a large corner master bedroom, which has a wall of spacious closets and an ensuite bath with both a stall shower and soaking tub. A second bedroom and full bath are also located nearby, as well as the separate office, which could be used as a third bedroom. Elsewhere is an additional half bath and laundry area with washer and dryer. In addition to the condo's own private balcony, the building offers an outdoor recreation space as well as its own stylish rooftop deck. In 2016, Don Lemon purchased his beautiful retreat in Sag Harbor for $3.1 million. He and his partner Tim were outgrowing the former condo and desired to move into a larger space, which is when they came across their current charming abode, which the couple shares with their adorable dogs. Sag Harbor is located in New York. More specifically, it's in the towns of Southampton and East Hampton on Easter Long Island. The area has has been described as a slice of Americana on the bay, and it's an old whaling port that spans only 2.3 square miles. However, it's full of history, boasting landmarks, historic homes, much like Don's, museums and shops, and restaurants on the main street. It's a lovely walking village and a tourist destination. It shouldn't be surprising then that Don considers his Sag Harbor home his sanctuary and loves simply decompressing here. When asked why he chose Sag Harbor, he explained the story. I think Sag Harbor chose me. When I saw it, I knew I wanted to live there. It was like I was always supposed to be there. After the couple searched for a while to no avail, they retreated back to the city. But along the way, however, Don spotted a white neoclassical clapboard house and asked about it. Luckily enough, the realtor knew about the property, looked into it, and got Don access to look at it right on the spot. And the rest was simply history. Don closed on the home the following spring and lived there for a while before he and his partner started on 
on the renovations. His stunning home is picturesque with a white picket fence as well as 3,500 square feet of space in total with four beds and five baths. The decor that Don and Tim eventually opted for doesn't focus on any one style, but the atmosphere feels livable and relaxing yet modern. Don's home is situated on one of Sag Harbor's most desirable streets two blocks from Maine and one block to the bay. The federal style abode also has an additional pool house with its own bathroom, cable TV and more. So that's where that extra square footage comes from. Past the rolling green front lawn and walking into the stately crib inside, you'll find nautical details in blues, whites and reds. At least that was prior to Don decorating the interiors to suit his own taste. Aside from the handful of beds and baths, there's also a basement level which functions as a recreation area with built-in mahogany bar and even the option to be transformed into a guest or in-law suite. The upper level of Don's home offers three bedrooms, a living room, and a mezzanine floor above which is suitable to be a complete home office. Then on the main floor, you'll find a sitting room with a gas fireplace, a library, a guest or family bedroom, and the kitchen. The kitchen here boasts Carrara marble countertop top-notch stainless steel appliances, including Viking and Sub-Zero brand, and right beside the kitchen, you'll find the dining room that has space to seat 12 people. The kitchen and dining room overlook the back patio and pool through two sets of front doors, creating a stunning and relaxing setting. Once Don and Tim moved in though, they started with the renovations shortly after and made some changes to these spaces in the home. The designers would start from scratch to reconfigure the interiors to suit the couple's lifestyle as well as their two pups, Boomer and Barkley. For instance, they first knocked out part of the wall separating the dining area from the kitchen to open it to view through a paned window wall, and then they redid the kitchen completely. They also took some space from the bonus bedroom on the main floor to convert into a mudroom and turn the basement into a cozy man cave, further sprinkling three new fireplaces throughout the home to keep the winters warm. Dawn explained this, People think I'm nuts, but I love coming here in winter and hunkering down. And he enjoys baking, especially around Christmas when his mother and sister come to visit. Elsewhere in the home, Don and Tim's master suite boasts views to the boats in the harbor and there are more amenities to come outside. In the backyard, aside from the guest cabin, you'll find an outdoor shower, saltwater pool, alfresco dining area, and a stunning back porch. Working on the interior design of the home for Don, the designers claimed that they didn't focus on any one particular style or point of view. Rather, they crafted a mix of antiques, mid-century furnishings, and modern pieces with a black and white color scheme that helps add a livable and relaxing vibe. They also added plenty of Don's personality into the interiors with his own collection of objects and arts. Don explained this too, adding, I'm not above collecting street art and a lot of the African American paintings in my home come from street artists in New Orleans. Since moving into their Hamptons abode, Don and Tim cherish every moment that they spend there. They love the freedom that they have since choosing to share their lives in this community and Don believes that buying their Sag Harbor home was one of the best choices he's made. Aside from choosing Tim as his soulmate, that is. Don also says, that house in Sag Harbor changed my life. The people I've met, the experiences I've had, the zen that it brings me, and the joy. I can't even put a price on it. The pair has also met a handful of inspiring people while living here and made plenty of friends along the way. Not to mention the couple likes to host parties and barbecues for their friends at their Sag Harbor home, such as this event that they invited loved ones over for Pride Weekend a couple of years back. Their home isn't a prime location though, only a block away from Marine Park where they can view weekly summer concerts as well as front row seating for the 4th of July fireworks too. Well now that we've looked at Don Lemon's Sag Harbor home and his former condo in New York City, that will conclude this house tour. But before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. Which holiday or event would you most like to host a themed party for at your home and why? Do you have a specific holiday or event that you most like to decorate and host for? Let me know in the comments down below. I love Christmas and Halloween. I wouldn't be able to choose, but definitely let me know. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a new drop. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!